effort. Can you tell us who you are? Well, I'm a lecturer in the School of Psychology and I teach the third year stats class as well as social psych. So how did you go about looking at the relationship between people's lecture attendance and the grades they got in your courses? Well, um, what I did was I handed out questionnaires in class four times during the semester and students filled them in and each time I asked them to, I just listed the lectures in the previous weeks and I asked them to circle the ones they had attended. So by them handing the questionnaire back in, I knew they were there that week, but people could also indicate, oh, I came to class this week, but I skipped the last two. And then I could look at that in relation to their final grades. So how important is it to attend lectures? Well, I found it was really important. I mean, I think, as I told you, part of the reason I started to do it was because in psychology we have these very detailed PowerPoint slides that we post on the web, and I really wasn't sure if people needed to come to class, but it, I found they do, they do. So what I did was I compared people that attended all the time versus people who attended almost never, and I found a very different outcome. So among people who skipped almost all of the classes, and Blake, that was 25 to 30 percent of them, of the 25 to 30 percent of the class that I never found, you know, in the four times I asked them there, um, among those folks, uh, 30 percent of them failed, and that um, is is among people that did assignment one, they did assignment two, and they did the exam. So it's not just that if you're not attending, you're more likely to drop the class, although I found that too. Among people that did all the assessment, 30% of them failed, and none of them got firsts, whereas among people that were there every week, and that again was about 25 to 30% of them, those people had a much lower failure rate of 3%, so literally 10 times lower, 10 times lower failure rate, and a quarter of them got first. So that's an amazing outcome. I was really surprised. It isn't this just about motivation because motivated students are more likely to study harder but they're also more likely to attend lectures? Yeah, I, I, I thought that that could be true. I mean, so what I did was I asked people to report what grade they got in second year and if you do find that if you get a higher grade in second year you tend to get a higher grade in third year. But I looked at that in relation to attendance, and somewhat disturbingly, I found that um, people who got higher grades in second year weren't necessarily coming to class more consistently. And I also looked at the interaction between those things, and I found that e those effects were independent. So even if you got good grades in second year, attendance still boosted your grades in third year. And it boosted them by almost a full grade. So those people that got sixes and sevens in second year who were regularly attending tended to score a 6 as opposed to a 5 if they were skipping a lot of class. So to what extent is this a concern? Surely only a few students miss class from time to time. Yeah, I mean I've anticipated that a little but you know, um, it was an almost perfect W distribution. So a third of the class was almost never there, a third of the class was almost always there, and then a third of the class was skipping regularly. But when I say almost always, I mean the average attendance that I found in the first year, um, you know, was three and a half on a scale from like zero to eleven. And then I, I really hammered students, you have to come to class, you have to come to class, and it went up every year into the giddy heights of five and a half lectures that they're attending. So they're skipping terribly. And I'm afraid in an era of Lectopia, they may be skipping even more. And I think that's why this message is uh, so important to get out, that, you know, attendance does matter. So that's the, the one bit of advice you'd have for students, the way to, you know, make sure you get the best grade you can would be to come along to class. Yeah, that's right. I mean, regardless of your past grades and regardless of other factors like your motivation, I think attendance does matter. And I think it does matter because you're spacing out your lectures through the semester. So I think some people imagine that they can just leave it all till the end and have this huge crunch. But the complexity of the material is just too much to assimilate when you're trying to do it all in the one week before the exam. So by spacing out your absorption of the material through the semester, you're just going to benefit your learning and it's worth doing.